Hello everybody and what is up? It's Mark from GNL and today we're going to be playing Europe Universalis 4. This is a grand strategy game which you start in 1444 and you can play as pretty much anybody from that time to 1821. Although it's not recommended to start from 1821 as the game finishes in 1821 unless you change some game files. Which are Loud noises in the background, always good. That was just a PS3 controller going on the floor. I'm going to move that. Anyway. Yes. European Universalis 4 is a crash game. 1444, 1821, anyone you want. So, you want, you want to start here? You want to start here? Oh, look, there's, look, look at the difference in. Well, there was an Austria, and now that wow, it's amazing. A new world you, you can start as Castile, just as a or you know, as Spain, as everyone will call them when they found the new world. But really, it's Castile or whatever, even though you know, kind of had a personal union over Aragon. 1508, some other stuff happens, more stuff, more stuff, or the quadruple alliance. Austria gets bigger, Ottomans get smaller, Ottomans get smaller. <laughs> uh, French Revolution, and then you know, Revolutionary France. So you can do all of that, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, go offline on Steam. Actually, no, go to offline on Steam. So set myself to busy. There you go. Because I'm um, I don't know if the uh, achievements were. But we're going to start in 1444, the rise of the Ottomans, and we're going to be playing as Brandenburg. Not that I've done this intro already, but uh, yeah, we're going to start as Brandenburg, even though it's kind of a bit weird that we start with a royal marriage with a Manchua. I don't know if there's any other thing, any other people that could start with royal marriages with anyone else. Apart from the Union, of course. He's not in Europe. There's some battles and alliances, but... Mm. Doesn't look like this. Wait, it's... Anyway. Brandenburg. Iron Man mode. Get as many of the achievements as possible. Brandenburg achieved run. Get many of the achievements as possible. There's quite a few achievements that I have got, hasn't I? I've got 12 out of 76. Therefore, not that many achievements. Um, but yeah. Brandenburg. We start with 6 units and a core on Newmark, where the Jushan Agordo is. And what you usually do to start is. Look at this, Austria will give you an alliance. Mm. Poland won't. The Hansa won't. Burgundy won't. France won't. Castile, no, no. But yeah, basically, <laughs> number one priority. Let's see if we've got any missions. Uh, save the Saxon people in Anhalt. No, Anhalt, Newmark. Uh, well, we probably ain't going to end up getting that back anyway, but there's no point in taking that mission at the moment. Form of an alliance with Anhalt. Will we ever be able to. We might actually be able to, actually, we might, we might actually be able to get that as a, get Anhalt as a, a vassal. If we take a, a new mark back, we'll have a bigger base tax and, yeah, okay. That, that, formula that's with Anhalt and prove our prestige. Do this and then that might actually go away. Um, one stability is nice, but I'd rather not take it and then because it minus 0 0.29 yearly. Gonna take the one for Anholt, we're gonna send two alliances out at once. Ooh. Do I have enough free space? Okay, select so games removed from cloud. Um, this one. There you go. I don't know if that'll work. Anyway. I will then. Send a diplomat to them and send a diplomat to them. Yeah, it would work. <laughs> I must not have had enough room on the ground. 
and then we need to pick some rivals. Now, Magdeburg, or oh, definitely because minus 94 relations already. Uh, do you want to call it? Yes, because they've got my core. Um, kind of just wanna, and I don't really know. Like Pomeranian maybe, but well, actually no, Pomeranian. Um, yeah, Pomeranian definitely because um, they do or desire all my provinces. So. And I can have two more miniature units. Uh, where's my? Probably want two cab. It use up all my money, but it'll be fine. And uh, yeah, so um, put on the maintenance down. Okay, so we have the alliance with with Anhalt. Yeah, okay. Uh, we've got 10 prestige and 25 diplomatic power. They start with. Uh, they start with 55,000 troops. And a royal marriage with Anhalt sounds like a pretty good thing just to do. Actions, di dynastic, 12th of December. Third, Brunswick, 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 Brunswick. I mean, they might be a pretty good ally, but uh, you could get an ally alliance. I see the Brunswick or Bohemia. Bohemia and Russia might actually end up going to war. Uh, will there be anybody else? Just, has anyone changed their ideas to war? Did you, yeah, obviously, the you trying to war, I haven't. Uh, no, no. Haven't no. I mean, <laughs> I could Würzburg, but it's kind of a bit pointless. Brunswick. Sure, we'll go, we'll go with Brunswick, mainly because then we can uh, probably end up squeezing Magdeburg. And then maybe I'll do the Hansa, but. There you go. Mm, right. I, I want to see if this actually makes any difference. 12th of December, if you do it, okay, minus two. Minus six, I've, I've always wondered if that's actually the same for each thing. No. No. That's just... Yeah, okay. You can do that. I just wanted to know if you could do that or not. Um, Improved relations with Mecklenburg. I mean, I could. I want to see. Okay. And hot opinion, minus six. It end up probably being. Just, just minus six, I think. So that'd be minus 36. And then, I know it's Brandenburg and military, military power compared, and when we get to the military, we might actually be able to do it. Uh, I, I won't cancel that, I, I won't do that. I'll, I'll uh, do that. And, uh, I mean, what else am I going to be doing? I probably should uh, see if I get an alliance with them. They might even ask me. Um, uh, Sure, we'll, we'll improve relations with Mecklenburg. Just because we can. Yeah, we're going to. It's like. I kind of want to, but then I kind of don't. Because they could call me into some really stupid wars. And they say they probably won't be able to help me, so, uh, no. Hopefully they can help. Yeah, yeah, And, uh, yeah, sure, Brunswick. Whatever. Okay, so getting those two military units changed by like seven or something, and um, yeah, I think we might actually be able to get it because um, by the time we get to 190 relations, um, they'll probably trust us enough, and uh, yeah, minus three, that's just one different, and then they'll probably give us a couple of trust points. So yeah. You might even be able to get Anhol as a uh, as a diplo vassal, as in just you get to vassalize them from just them being happy with you, rather than anything else. And uh, yeah, at the moment, 
if I Wow, 4.2 a month. AI, oh, AI bonuses. Wow. Plus two, I didn't realise that. The AI gets so much. Wow. 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 <laughs> Enemies. Yeah. More people hate the hate the hate hate the Bohemia. Okay. Then um then they can rival. It's usually not a good thing to see, but rival. As in if you're Bohemia, you don't You don't really wanna have more uh, rivals that have rivaled e have rivaled you than uh Yeah, like see I've only got Chichonic Order and Mag um, Mag Mag Magdeburg. Um and they've got six military units, and we have an alliance with Anhol and also uh, Austria, who kind of have lots, lots of units. <laughs> that is an exact number. Lots. Um, yeah. Okay. Pragmatic sanction, solemnly rendered by Ch Emperor Charles VI on the 19th of April. 1713 established the indivisibility of the Habsburg patrimony and ruled the order of succession by order of firstborn child, even to a woman. This made Maria Theresa, born in 1717, the heir of the, of the empire. The pragmatic sa sanction was recognized by Spain in 1725, confirmed in 1731, Russia in 1726, Prussia in 1728, the United Provinces, which is um, Netherlands and Belgium, I think, put together. Um, in 1731, Hanover in, 19, in 1972, in 1732, Holy Roman Empire, except Bavaria, this li these little boys over here, in in 19 in 19, now, in the same year as Hanover and France in in, in 1738, Bavarian refusal would lead to the War of Austrian Succession. Well, this seems a long uh, a long way to for it to have happened. A long time before it, it should have happened. Um, so yeah, that happened. It happened really, really early. It's probably because I think, yeah, Maria, they must have got a, a female heir and just been like, what's up, let's go do that. Sure, whatever. And yeah, Horn, Horn Zolleran. Oh, okay. Albrecht. I think it's okay. You have 1.21, and yes. Yeah, Probably not worth getting an advisor at the moment. Although plus five diplomatic reputation could swing the balance in favour of us just uh, diplomatizing, um, uh -huh. and also plus one diplo is pretty decent. Usually because I just go for the idea groups instead of um, like maybe the diplomatic. I might actually go for diplomatic this time if I want to try and uh, overturn Austria. You should go diplomatic ideas first, because then you can get more idea groups, and also the first few things of a uh, military check are pretty decent. Um, right. Combat width plus two, level five armories. You know, basically level five is a pretty good one because of uh, supply limit. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So yeah, we, when we get our national ideas, we'll probably end up going dipl diplomat diplomatic because we can and it looks like actually that Hesse is going to overturn the <laughs> Hesse or, or Bohemia are going to overturn Austria and the in the thing that's, that's really weird I mean my vote would end up being the deciding vote I mean I could cast my vote for Hesse and just screw up everything but I kind of just want Austria at the moment just because um at the moment, they're my ally, and uh, I'm voting. I'm voting for them, so it gives me 125 uh, extra, and 125 extra, 25 extra. Yeah, so it's pretty decent. Uh, I really want to just make the uh, empire, but yeah, actually, gonna get diplomatic reputation. I kind of sidetracked. 
see if they... Yeah, they would do it now. So all we need to do is get to 190... Yeah, 190... Uh, um, relations. And we... We can do that. Yeah, we can do that. That's uh, We just have to wait a while. It's probably worth waiting since... Anvil is what, three base packs, and just taking them, you get all the unlawful stuff. And it's not very nice because everyone can just attack you and everyone hates you. But once you just annex them as a vassal, then you've got them as a core. And then we, we, it's either from the Holy Roman Empire or from Germany. I mean, I probably could. Because uh, that's. I kind of want to say Catholic, don't I? Because I want to get the three card and thing. Mm, mm, this is a really nice one. It's either lose 90, 105 power or uh, lose one stability, which would cost me approximately administrative power. Mm, I'm, I'm going to do that because. Okay. Pretty much just because. I kind of want to get. I want to stockpile as many diplomatic points as possible, so I can pull off and get a next diplomat, and maybe by the, maybe get a different next diplomat for relations. And also improved relations would be nice. Income from vassals, diplomatic reputation would be even nicer. And uh, yeah. And also, you get the policies. And there's new policies. I actually want to see what a policy I would get. Because I know that you have to... The um, the policies cost one point of the thing you want per um, per month. But some of the policies are pretty good. Like... Mm, like... Diplomatic reputation would be quite nice. Um, aggressive expansion. Uh, You need just legitimacy, actually. Would be quite nice as well. Because then we can always have sort of top of legit legitimacy, and you get quite a lot of stuff from legitimacy. Look, plus 47. We could pretty... I think we could almost definitely... If we, if we got all the relations of all the uh, electors up at the moment, we could overturn Austria. But... I, I kind of don't really want to at the moment because if Austria are my friends then we can slowly but surely actually make ourselves big um, and then we can overturn Austria when we get big and we have that like bigger advantage you sort of get extra points for how big you are like um, Austria get plus 50 for being a large nation and they're not actually that big they're only what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 provinces. We, we can almost definitely get something like that. What is, what is the thing in here? Okay. Oop. Okay, we've done that. We're gonna bring our diplomat to... Now they're friendly with us, even though they're hostile before. Solidify our papal relations. Save this up for the um, who, who would join? Okay, Austria and Brunswick would join against Denmark, the Livonian Order, and Mecklenburg. Mm, the only problem is, uh, no, I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? I have to get rid of the uh, diplomatic reputation card. I'm gonna wait until Anne Holt is my uh, my vassal, unless there's more than I need. It takes five off of that. Yeah, be f that. Yeah, that that would be fine. I can. I. I am gonna kick him, just because then I can. I'm gonna. It's only like. Minus 0 0.04. And when we get Anne Holt, it'll be fine. Um, so, yeah. Save the second people in Newmark. 
and declare war. Well, we declare war when we've got all our morale. Oh, who's at war? Saxe-Lundberg and Pomerania. Um, uh, Lundberg. I mean, I kind of want to because we uh, we would end up being able to more than likely, if we get more relations with them, uh, we can probably vassalize them. So Lundberg will be one. Uh, I'm going to say no to them and no to Magdeburg because I hate Magdeburg. Are you at war? No, good boy. Good boy, you're not at war. Okay, Pomerania and the Hansa. Pomerania, you, you don't like us, and uh, the Hansa. You deserve to even like us even less than you already do. Uh, who are they actually allied with? Okay. Uh, Pomerania gonna get destroyed. <laughs> Okay, this is my. Look at me, look at me money. Okay, okay, I have all the. Oh no! Austria! Why? Okay, they would still. <laughs> okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Why wouldn't they? Attitude towards enemies. Okay. So, um, it'd be Denmark, Liver. Oh, Denmark's. Livonian Order and Mecklenburg. I mean, I have kind of done this a bit before. I probably should wait, actually, until Austria finish with their war. Simply because, uh, oh, okay. I just realized they were two, the two wars? Swiss conquest of Const, oh, okay. They were called in. Wait. Oh no, okay, never mind. They've got one more. I. My mind. But yeah. Uh, gonna, gonna guarantee. Just because for quicker uh, getting all the relations up, I kinda wanna. I won't use any money to get the relations up, but I want to get as much. Um, I wanna get them as a vassal as quickly as possible because then they'll always be in my wars um, until I annex them and they'll be mine forever. Yeah, so they. When we do attack the Teutonic Order, it will, it will definitely to get you new map. And that'll probably be it because there's no way we can connect up to there. Unless we get um I don't know why I got that mission. Okay, so yeah. No, that's it, whatever. Uh, 179 should take about um, we need there about sort of three months. I don't want an alliance, Mantua, unless you can do some actual. Oh, you have no one as an as an ally. Yeah, no, no one likes you because and you you may be thinking, man, you could have. Uh, could have gotten an uh, offer, it could have vassalized that those, but mine is 226 because of the distance between borders basically. And uh, yeah, thought that wasn't a good thing. Ooh, uh, fine. I, I don't want to, I don't have any money. It's only 90, it's fine. Yeah, it looks like uh, Austria may be kind of winning this war. Um, I. <laughs> Why? Why would you take that? There's literally no point. Why? What, what, I don't understand. Why? Why would you take that? That literally makes no sense to take Constance. Okay, maybe you got a claim on it, but that doesn't excuse you from annexing Alsace and, con and annexing Constance. Which <laughs> We can, uh, we can and halt the vassalization up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we now got half their monthly income, which means we get exactly zero. Oh, 0 0.19. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's a big increase in our uh, economy. 
which is sad. Okay. They... What's their base tax? Oh, their base tax is 5. So they, they're minus minus hundred and one because they've, um... Wait. Yeah. Wait, are they at war? No, they're not at war. Okay. Because they, um... They've, they've got 5 base tax compared to our measly sort of 5... 5, 6, 7. <laughs> Why, why is that in numbers? Is that 8? Oh no. That's 9. Uh, why, where's 8? I want to find 8. 8 must be right here somewhere. 6. 3. 5. I want to find 8. <laughs> 3. 10. 6. 8. There's 8. There's an 8. <laughs> We're going to take Bremen because then we can... Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cause yeah, cause that's totally sensible. Yeah, we don't need to uh, relation improve anymore, cause we literally just diplomatic, diplomatic, diplo battled them. Denmark, Livonia, and Oldham, and Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg have what four units? If we can, wow, Austria, what have you done? I don't know how many military units they have. Total, Austria. Have And they're getting plus fifty percent force limit. Manpower. Yeah, okay. Mm. Each that's why the AI ha ends up being having so many troops even when they're one point province minor. They end up having plus fifty percent to their <laughs> Okay, how much is this? Oh yeah, it's a five. So they almost definitely won't. I mean, last time I made the mistake of uh, giving uh, Austria uh, them as a vassal to Austria, but this time I think I'm going to go and I'll let Austria attack the Teutonic Order, and I'll go and attack uh, Mecklenburg because because then I can take Mecklenburg as a, Mecklenburg as a vassal and annex them, and then have access to the sea. Which is really cool. And the sea's always really nice. Let me just. Yeah, alright. The sea's always really nice. You know, as things go, the sea's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, Austria and Brunswick both happy to join. And Anhalt has to join. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna get a leader, actually. Uh, that's a pretty good. That's 2 2 2. That's, that's alright, uh, whatever. 2 2 2 0. Right. The siege, you know, definitely could have been better, but shock to whatever. First siege in the game. And, like, what is it? What did it have, like, barely any army tradition? Almost definitely. Um, but going to war will get even more. And, uh, did just look at the uh, ideas for the uh, Prussians. And plus 20 was sent to Morale of Army. That's pretty good. Yearly army tradition decay, still pretty good because uh, if you look here, army tradition, more morale of armies, much good. Um, manpower modifier, recruitment time, good, good. Tolerance of the heretic, production efficiency, that is also good. Um, so maybe we could even go here and just completely make our uh, armies compete. As all potato and chicken. Yeah, so yeah. We could go down that road. We could go down the road of defensive ideas and just get the first two. And that's it. And then wait until... Wait, what was that? I just saw that. Alright, never mind. Yeah. That means my price people. But until we get to level 5 military tech, because um, level 5 military tech gives us gal Gallo Glaze. Um, and that's it. Like, Gallo Glaze and also more supply limit and by that time I have military tactics and also have more combat width. Which is pretty good. Like as things go supply limit, that's pretty sweet. But yeah, anyway, we're going to declare war. Austria will join. Bro oh, okay. Denmark. Oh everybody joined. Okay. But straight away 
just if uh, uh no okay no that's fine we, we wiped them out how big is their army now oh okay oh because Norway and Sweden all right well even more no no we lost oh no why did this happen Oh, it's okay. Austria, uh, Austria, you you hear? Austria, Austria. Okay, Austria, come on. Yes, kill, kill them all. Wow, <laughs> they killed them all. They sure killed them all. Oh dear. Um, um, twelfth March, fifteen, fifteen, twelve. Ah oh, no, I didn't get away. I didn't get out. Just lost all my army. <sighs> I'm sure Austria will do everything for me. I mean, that just means I don't have to pay for an army, right? That's that's a good thing. Anyway, on that note of uh, me losing my entire army, uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, see you again next time on a uh, European Universal Achievement Run. Trying to get as many achievements as possible. Becoming Holy Roman Emperor, probably forming Germany, I don't know if that would destroy the Holy Roman Empire, but you know, forming Germany would be a nice thing to do. Maybe Prussia. I don't know. But uh yeah. Thank you very much for watching, you know, click the like, subscribes and all the other stuff for more of this. Just this. Nothing else on the channel. Just this. Anyway. I'll be back next time and uh see you soon. <laughs>